welcome back. This second video on the snapping feature of the Advanced Framework Core is devoted to the Anchor Connector component and its partner component, the Anchor component. The Anchor Connector component is, as you can see here, another child class of the Comp Connector. But for the Anchor component, you will look in vain in this hierarchy. This is because the anchor component is not a connector component, but a sync component defining where the anchor connector wants to be placed. Let me elaborate on that. The anchor connector component and the anchor component work in conjunction. The anchor connector component is placed on the wrapped actor, and similar to the surface connector component, the anchor connector component starts a trace upon wrap, this time looking for anchor components, not for a surface. The anchor component is usually placed on another actor, which I am going to call the stationary actor for lack of a better word. Just be aware that the actor does not have to be stationary in the Unreal sense. It's just not the actor, which is to be grabbed and positioned by the player. And the position of the anchor component shows where the grabbed actor is supposed to be attached to the stationary actor upon snap. For further illustration, let me show you the example from the slide in action. When I grab the light bulb and bring it near to the top of the battery, where, as you can see in the slide, the anchor component is positioned, it displays all the snapping behavior, finding the anchor, displaying the hologram, and so on. And finally, upon release, the, battery, uh, the bulb snaps to the place on top of the battery, where the anchor connect, which the anchor connector component marks, and stays there. Let's rewind it for a moment and grab the battery instead of the bulb. If I bring it close to the lower part of the bulb where the anchor component is, nothing happens as you can see. This shows you that in case of the snap to anchor feature, we have a clear distinction of roles. There's one actor which has the anchor connector component, which is able to initiate the snap and find the anchor component. And the other actor with the anchor component will stay passive and be snapped onto. With that made clear, let me show you how to set up this battery bulb actor pair, starting with the light bulb. Here we are on the actor blueprint. And as you can see, the grab component is already set up. Let's have a short look in, at the settings. This time we have free placement, so we don't have to deal with physics interfering with the snap. And the other settings are practically default settings. Next, let's add the anchor connector component and have a look at its settings. Here they are. We have a connector ID, which serves to di differentiate multiple actors with anchor connector components. And the other two values adjust the trace search, which is implemented a bit differently from the surface connector component here. Let's have a short look at the logic of both components for a comparison. Both connector components implement their trace in the search for acceptable destination function. Above, you can see the relevant code from the surface connector component and below from the anchor connector component. As mentioned in its tutorial video, the surface connector component implements a line trace and uses the hit normal to see if the surface is considered to be flat. And the length of this line trace is defined by one variable, the search distance. The anchor connector component, however, implements its trace as a multisphere trace, which not only has a length, but also a radius. Practically, you can think of the trace as a cylinder detecting every, uh, everything within its cross area. And you can use the radius to define how broad the cylinder is and the search distance, how long it is. So why this different setup, you might ask? It's because the anchor connector searches for an anchor, which on itself is basically a point at an actor, meaning it is much harder to find for the player than just a plane surface. So don't be too minimal when defending the search distance and radius, or you will make it practically impossible for the player to find an anchor. Let's get back on track. As with the surface connector, I suggest you attach an arrow component to the anchor connector component for visualization, since you have to place it exactly where the actor sh should be attached to the stationary actor. With the anchor connector component in place, let's head over to the battery. The actor I used 
inherited its anchor component, but you can add it like any other component. Again, I suggest you attach an arrow to the component for positioning and debugging. Remember, the anchor component's location and rotation defines where the grab actor is attached to the stationary actor. Okay, we're set up, so let's have a look at the settings. The first Boolean serves to control if the anchor is active, meaning open for a connector to find it. Next, let's jump to the connector IDs to allow array. This is the counterpart to the connector ID text variable we defined previously. If you want an anchor connected to attach to this anchor component, you add its ID to the array. If we don't want it, you omit, omit it. Back in the level, you can see that we have two batteries here, a smaller one that matches the bulb size and a larger one. So let's add the tag we used on the anchor connector component to the anchor component of the smaller battery, but not of the larger one. As you can see, now the bulb finds the anchor on the smaller battery and displays the typical snapping behavior. But if we try the larger battery, it is rejected by the anchor component and cannot snap onto it. With that, let's get back on track. The allow physics booleans here serves the same purpose as in this surface connector. To elaborate shortly, the physics release type of the grab component is suspended during the snap. To reactivate it afterwards, set this boolean to true. If you don't want it, leave it at false. Next, let's talk about the sphere radius. This is another setting that serves to make it easier for the player to find an anchor. The setting defines a sphere with a given radius around the anchor component. If the trace of the anchor connector hits the sphere, it finds the anchor automatically. Now only this boolean is left. It controls whether the grab actor is treated as attached to the stationary actor after a successful snap. Here the attached component comes into play. You add it to the actor with the anchor component and it automatically keeps track of all attached actors. Finally, let me give you an overview on the event dispatchers of the anchor component down here. Besides the number of standard Unreal event dispatchers, we have here the anchor actor got attached and detached events, which are called whenever an anchor attaches or detaches from the anchor. And here is an example what you can do with them. As you can see, the actor got attached event forwards the anchor, connector and actor owning the connector, which in our case is the light bulb. And here we use that info to get a number of state components on the light bulbs and manipul manipulate their state to get the effects we see upon attaching the bulb to the battery. Finally, let's give the larger battery also the connector ID and try our setup in a bit more detail. As you can see now, the anchor components of both batteries are found by the light bulb. And upon snap, the light is turned on, the color is set, and the bulb size is adjusted to the one of the battery. And if I grab the, the bulb again, it detaches from the actor. This has nothing to do with the connector component or the anchor. It's actually regulated by the grab component in the setting I show below. If you check this Boolean, an attached anchor will detach rather than stay with the uh, actor it is attached to upon grab. If you don't want that, but want after an attachment to, that both actors are treated as one entity, set it to false. With that, you should be up to speed regarding the connector components. So I will sign off. See you soon. Bye bye.